As I am itching for grandbabies, sometimes these model homes just start to tug at my heart a little bit. This is a beautiful model home that we're going to tour today, and this bedroom is perfect whether you want it for your grandkids or your own kids. I think I might do it for my grandkids, though. Stay tuned. <laughs> Amy with Heart and Home Orlando and today we are back at one of my favorite communities out here in Claremont. This is Johns Lake Landing. So this particular section is called the Lookout at Johns Lake Landing and this is the final, and I'm so sad, it is the final David Weekly section at 72 home sites, some of which are already sold. We'll talk about that a bit as we go through, but this is what I'm excited about. They have um, some of their, their former floor plans that they had in this community from the beginning, but they've also incorporated some new floor plans, including this one which is the summer lock beautiful two-story home everything in this phase looks a little bit different it feels different the vibe is different absolutely beautiful so we're going to take a look at this particular floor plan as we go in now this is their sales center so we're going to have to be a little respectful that the fact that they have their offices and they're actually working in there so we're going to try to zoom through this first floor i'll talk a little bit more once we go upstairs and we can have some privacy all right so as soon as you enter in through the front door over here to your left and again that's going to be dependent on your garage swing meaning is your garage on the right or on the left but as this model shows as soon as you enter the front door to the left you're going to have this flex space this office space this open space utilize it how you need. I love the fact that they give us such great ideas of how to create an intimate work zone, whether you just need a place to, to work on the computer for a few minutes or whether or not you have a full-fledged office with filing cabinets. This is a great spot for that. It's also open and connected, meaning that as soon as you enter into the home, you have this big open feel. Now over here behind me, we're going to ignore that. This would typically be your garage. It is their sales center and their sales offices. This home is is a three car tandem garage style home. So you will have your single bay and then you will have two bays that are in tandem, meaning one right behind the other. And that's what's over here, but we're gonna walk past it. So over here, you're gonna have your downstairs powder bath. And of course the stairs that will take us upstairs, which we'll reference in just a minute. But as we come back here, we're gonna point out that over here to my left, to your right is going to be the laundry room. So when you come in through your garage, you've got that great little drop zone. Uh, we used to call them mud rooms. You have that great spot over there to kind of drop away your your day's worries kick off those shoes keep it right there in the laundry room and then shut that door and then enter in to look at this a beautiful first floor layout so open and breathable i absolutely love this look at all of your kitchen space Be big beautiful island lots of cabinets and counters again it's a decorated model so you can see all of the gorgeous decor the things that they add to really make this house feel like a home the placemats the place settings just a few of the things here on the counter. Coffee. Wouldn't mind having a cup after this video is over, by the way. File that one away. But what a beautiful open space. Again, lots of cabinet and counter. Now take a quick peek because I know a lot of you watch these videos for design options and some decor ideas. So this is another example of a, two, a dual toned um, kind of a kitchen effect where you have the, di the one cabinet color here and then you have a different contrasting color cabinet on the island. So here you have a darker color and a lighter color. Really, really beautiful. Open family room to your dining area. And one of my favorite things is the brightness that just floods into this floor plan. This floor plan, by the way, I've just been told there is one that is available that can close this year. So if this layout looks like it could be the perfect one for you, you need to call me right away as soon as this video is over. So your family, again, I call this the hub of the home. You've got your kitchen space, your eating island, you've got your dining area, and then you have your living room area over here. But what's also fantastic is is that in this case, there is this big, beautiful extended lanai space. And that inventory, by the way, has the big lanai as well. But you have all of this window, the light that is just coming in from the sliders off of the dining area to these doors over here off of the family room area. All right, now let's take a peek back over here. Also, while we're looking at it for design ideas, take a peek at the flooring. And do you see the fluid just um, flooring that just transitions right on in from your main living space, literally from the front door? to the back here, the back wall of that owner's suite, that primary bedroom. So nice big bedroom here located at the back of the home. Not only is this a nice size bedroom, 
but look at the windows. You know, so many times when I'm out with clients and we're talking about new construction and some of the benefits of it and some of the things that you notice kind of right away, one of those things are the taller ceilings and the ability to have those bigger windows. And this is an absolute perfect example of how new construction with these tall ceilings and those big windows can really transform what would typically just be a bedroom. Big, beautiful room. So let's take a peek back over here. So this is going to be the primary bathroom as well. So you're going to have this super shower, which I believe that inventory home also has the super shower option. We'll confirm that for you. But sometimes you can have a tub shower. This is a super shower, meaning it's gigantic. Look how big your shower space is. Lots of space over here. You have the glass here, but then you have the open doorway over here. Again, the two sinks and then the big, beautiful closet that's back behind us. So a couple of things on your checkoff list that we'll talk about as we head upstairs is let's go through your let's go through your wish list for your home if you need that primary bedroom that owner suite that master bedroom on the first floor then we have just checked off that box for you if you need that flex space or an office space or even if you want to make it a library or a living room you know some people I know that the formal living formal dining is not really what most people go for but I do have clients that like that space and they do like to have a formal little sitting area kind of right off there at the front of the home. So this home is checked off that box for you. Here's some more boxes. Are you ready? So if you need a flex space, game room, bonus room, whatever you want to call it, a place, a fun zone for your kids or your family, even if it's all adults that live in the home and you need that extra zone to kind of play those video games or watch that Netflix series, here you go. So we've checked off this box. As soon as you come up the stairs, you have this fantastic big bonus room. Again, lots of natural light coming in through those windows. And it also has one of my favorite things, which is the window at the stairwell. Again, I don't know why I'm always drawn to homes that have that big, beautiful space right here. Lots of fun, surely to be had. Now back behind me, you're going to have another bedroom and this one is an ensuite. So you have a bedroom with its own private bathroom. So again, do you need that? Is in your wish list? Do you need someone that ha that, that, that in their, their living uh, situation needs to, or would prefer to have their own bathroom? Here you go. We've checked off that box as well. So big bedroom down uh, over behind me. And then we've got two more bedrooms tucked back over here with this full bath over here. Again, you can see the single sink, the tub shower combo in this particular model. Again, looking for design ideas. My suggestion, take that tile all the way up to the ceiling. Okay, let's talk cuteness factor because this one is off the chart. Um, I am really antsy for some grandbabies. And so I'm, I'm really having these little heart kind of palpita palpitations. Uh, when we come into these adorable rooms that are decorated and designed and staged as kids' rooms. So this is super cute. I love the little bunk bed idea. I love this. But let's talk about it for the actual layout of the home. Again, right off of the um, of the, the bonus room or that loft area, you have bedroom number one with a nice big closet as well. So this is a nice big walk-in. And that's one thing that this floor plan also provides you is a lot of closet space, a lot of nice big storage as well. All right, back over here, we're going to have another bedroom. Again, super cute. I love this. Another bedroom. Again, both of these bedrooms are very comparable in size. Both of them have nice size closets. And again, you've got that full bathroom right there that both of these bedrooms are going to use. And then you have the bedroom over there that is the ensuite with its own private bathroom. So this is the look out at Johns Lake Landing. Again, this is just their final section, 72 home sites. And one of my things that I am most excited about is that they actually went that extra step as David Weekly typically does. And they didn't just continue the exact same floor plans and the same product series that they had in the, in the initial phase, but they have incorporated some new ones, including this summer lock. So again, this home, you've got four bedrooms, primary suite on the first floor, three bedrooms upstairs. You have, um, it's going to vary on the square footage depending on some of the structural options that you choose. So anywhere from like 3000 square feet to maybe almost 3,100 square feet, but right there in that 3000 square foot range, three car tandem garage. Big, beautiful opportunity here in Johns Lake Landing. Again, this is the lookout section. Remember, I do not work for or represent the builder. I'm a realtor here hoping to help guide you through the process. So if you want to give me a call at 407-848-8042, I would love to help you through the process. And just as a reminder, call me so I can give you that information on the summer lock like this one that could be your new home for the holidays. Have a great day, everybody. Happy house hunting.